In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex topic called solving a word problem involving a sum and another basic relationship using a system of linear equations. So we know the approach is going to be using a system of linear equations. That's going to help us decide how to approach the problem. And looking at the context, a textbook store sold a combined total of 363 chemistry and physics textbooks in a week. The number of physics textbooks sold was 75 less than the number of chemistry textbooks sold. How many textbooks of each type were sold? So I'm going to work with that ending final question first. How many textbooks of each type were sold? And I look back at the question and I find out that we're talking about two types of books, chemistry and physics. So I'm going to go ahead and set my variables and say that C equals the number of chemistry books sold and P equals the number of physics books sold. And when I reread the rest of this problem, I'm looking for those two equations that I should be able to get out of the descriptions that are given. So starting with that first sentence, textbook store sold a combined total of 365 chemistry and physics textbooks in a week. So from that, I can get that the number of chemistry textbooks plus the number of physics textbooks equals 363. So that's what we mean by the combined total. The total chemistry books plus physics books equals 363. So we have our first equation. And then reading the second sentence, the number of physics textbooks sold was 75 less than the number of chemistry textbooks sold. That's saying that the number of physics textbooks sold, P, was 75 less than the number of chemistry textbooks. So that's going to be the number of chemistry textbooks minus 75. So physics textbooks are 75 less than the number of chemistry textbooks. And that is our second equation. And since we now have two equations, we can solve this. Since the second one is already solved for P, I'm going to do substitution and just replace the P in the top equation with that P value in the second equation. So rewriting the first equation, it's now going to be C plus, so I'll put that in here, C minus 75 equals 363. So replacing P with what we said P is equal to, we now have one equation and only one variable. We can simplify this. C plus C is 2C minus 75 equals 363. Add the 75 over to get the C by itself. 75s will cancel, leaving me with 2C on the left equals 438. And then lastly, divide both sides by 2 to get the C by itself. And we have C equals 219. So we are halfway there. We have found the number of chemistry books, 219. But we also need to know the number of physics books. Looking back at our original equations, this second one here was already solved for P. And now that we know the value of C, I can just rewrite that as P equals C, which is 219 now that we found it, minus 75. So P equals 219 minus 75, 144. So the number of physics books is 144, number of chemistry books, 219. 